trying to do my hair not the blow drying it uh, almost 16 weeks post relaxer and blow drying my hair a couple days ago. But while you're here, go ahead and subscribe. Right there. If you like watching, if you like skincare at home, or DIY projects at home, this is the channel for you. But since you are here, go ahead. Let's talk about something. So since you stopped on by, why don't you just go ahead and again, like I said, subscribe like this video share with your family and friends and let's talk about why air drying versus blow drying huh could be more damaging to your hair okay so brad mondo did a video a couple of months ago i want to say i watched it it's been a while a tiktok that was done by a lady by the name of maimed by male both are cosmetologists. So it's just very interesting, I thought, to have the different opinion versus facts being talked about in each one of the video. So I thought that I would definitely do my own research on top of listening to what the videos was about. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch Brad Mondo as well as Mains by Males video. When it comes to beauty advice on TikTok, specifically hair advice, I often scroll past the video wondering if that was a myth or if it was actually true. So today, I'll be using my 10 plus years of hairdressing experience, plus a lot of, a lot of research that went into this video, to share with you which of these TikTok hair videos are actually true and which ones are false as shit. Besties, don't come for me, but this is why you need to stop air drying. Especially if you are under the impression that it is less damaging than blow drying because research shows that air drying could actually be more damaging than blow drying. So you may have thought for a second that was going to be true. Let's ask the people, did they think for a minute that that was going to be true? Because I am aware that that sounds like very shocking news. What? It's false. Mm. And it's false from my research and opinions. Okay, so let's just also put that in the video where this is from my research and my opinions. Huh? There is a lot of gray area when it comes to a lot of these things. And I get exactly what Mains by Mel is saying. And some of the video is true. But the fact that air drying can be more damaging than blow drying, I'm just not buying it. There's one specific thing today that I researched a lot. It doesn't seem like there was any like actual studies. The only reason why air drying could possibly Possibly be more damaging is that when you have very heavy hair that retains a lot of moisture it can swell the cortex and hold a lot of water in your hair and your hair can be pulled on a lot by that water weighing down your hair which can result in breakage mm, that's not the issue people are towel drying their hair actually to the point of people towel drying that does damage to your cuticles as well for your hair either you're just never gonna have as much water as you need to actually cause damage to your hair unless you're walking around with dripping wet hair the entire day. I am just gonna say this one is false. Using heat on your hair is more damaging. I did not share any of his resources, but I have lots of resources. Allow me to play the full clip, shall we? Besties, don't come for me, but this is why you need to stop air drying. And especially if you are under the impression that it is less damaging than blow drying because research shows that air drying could actually be more damaging than blow drying. C, it does damage to our CMC. The CMC would be the cell membrane complex. This is basically the glue that holds our cuticles together. The problem lies in leaving your hair wet for a very long time. It is conceived to be just as damaging as blow drying on high heat. So the fact is that air drying is not the real problem. It's letting the moisture sit on the hair for a long period of time, that's the problem. So research states that when your hair becomes too wet, too dry, stretched, rubbed for too long, it causes damage. So according to one researcher, hair drying causes more surface damage than natural drying. Using a hair dryer at a distance of 15 centimeters with motion causes less damage than drying the hair naturally. Based on this researcher, he states that it is conceivable that a long 
lasting wet stage is harmful as a high drying temperature and maybe even more damaging to the hair. Other research also states that blow drying the hair is better for the scalp and the hair. This video is to show you that you must do your own research. This is your own research that must be done because these are two cosmetologists and they're coming with two different opinions. So let's talk about the anatomy of the hair. The hair is made of protein, which is a keratin. So the hair is made up of three layers. You got cuticle, vertex, and medulla. So what is our hair? Like, what is hair? It's a fiber made of protein called keratin. So when you think of the hair and the three layers, medulla is the most outer layer, cortex is surrounding the medulla, and the third layer is the cuticle, which is considered the dead layer of cells which overlap to protect the hair. Hmm. Who would have ever thought? The cell membrane, which is also the CMC, basically holds the cuticle and other hair part intact. So I used to air dry my hair all the time thinking that it was the most healthiest way with my hair journey, when in fact it was the most tangled, drying, matted mess on my head. I wish someone was telling us this because I was watching so many YouTubers air drying their hair and in the past me just jumping on that bandwagon I was right along with them and damaging my hair. So based on the studies it stated that long lasting long periods of time long hours of the hair being basically just filled with water is more damaging to the hair than using heat. So ladies, with all of that being said, I hope this video was informative to you all. I hope you all understand that please, ladies, please watch these hair videos. And you know people say just take it with a grain of salt. Is that how the saying goes? I think, I think that's how it goes, I don't know. But basically what I'm trying to tell you is watch the videos, but do your own research. Don't just go by what I'm telling you. Don't just go by what Brad Mondo is telling you. Don't just go by what YouTubers are saying to you. Do your own research. If they are providing research to you, that is the channel you want to, in my opinion, that's the channel that you want to get more in tune with because they're giving you the facts they're shooting with the information. So I wanted to make sure I shared that with you all just in case you all did not catch wind of this information. And most of you who are watching my channel are on a hair journey. We are on a hair journey. We already are relaxed. And that in itself is a lot to our hair. So please ladies, please don't go into your next wash day without drying your hair. Go outside, go in front of a fan, stand in front of the oven with the oven on, just don't get hurt. <laughs> Blow dry your hair on low heat, blow dry your hair on cool heat. Do something where you're getting that water out of the cortex of your hair. I'm out ladies, I'm gonna go do my hair. I mean, y'all, I was trying to do my hair when y'all were in the bathroom with me. I, who said y'all could come in? Who, I had the door closed. Anyway, I'm out y'all. I will see y'all in another video. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I'll see y'all later. Bye dolls.